probably the finest example of a John Deere light agricultural tractor I have ever seen. Um, one of the wheels has been taken off and you can see the detail. I mean a lot, a lot more uh, care was taken in assembly of this tractor than John Deere ever took, I can tell you that. It's got all the hallmarks of uh, powder coating, that is the tractor was taken apart, put in a uh, room, and each individual piece, the pieces were uh, charged either positively or negatively, and the paint was charged either positive or negative, and the result is the tractor is painted inside as well as out with a very tough durable paint uh, the best of our generation certainly and of course the result is there's no runs or drips of any kind but this is your basic uh, 1936 garden tractor this is what it would look like Now powder coating becomes part of the metal, but it will chip. You can see there's a, a chip out of it if you whack it with a hammer, and that's about what it takes to get it off. It is extremely durable. But this tractor is uh, just superb. And whoever restored this, I mean, you know, meticulous doesn't, doesn't even cover it. All of the decals are on. I mean, it's just uh, just outstanding. Nineteen thirty-six, John Deere, LA, light agricultural tractor. EP, big engine, big flywheel. Somebody tell me what this one is. I'm not familiar with it. Here's the one I kind of am familiar with. It's a smaller GP, the 1929. I don't know. And the GP standard. As you can see, it looks appears to be a difference in engines. Every once in a while you'll see one of these around. 1929 General Purpose John Deere. Much in the way of instruments. Here's the decal. And not much in the way of hearing protection. Just a straight pipe. Huge flywheel. All right, this is a 1935 unstyled short frame Model B on steel wheels. See the steering mechanism is out in the open. There's the steering post. general purpose. I'll try to film so you can get all the decals and you know where things are supposed to be because these are right. The engines of these old style tractors look unfamiliar to you. This is nothing but an, an old style pop pop engine where this cylinder just standing up, standing straight up, would be probably be familiar to you as a, as one of the old style pop pop engines, flywheel engines, and that's all this is. It is canted on its side, so it'll fit in a tractor. Now, 
you can kind of see it on the B model it's actually still slightly canted up so the oil won't uh, hydraulic lock in it okay let me get down here so you can see 37 unstyled B short frame Seven. We're starting to add some instruments you see in there. Magneto on the back. In 38, a model BN instrumentation. And we're adding some arms. I'll just walk right on around. Still have our steering and our rudder post outside. Very popular tractor, this uh, Model B, Model BW, 1935. All kinds of wheel styles frame styles to get these decals simply uh, watch this on YouTube television and stop the frame Wilco Magneto Team 37 wide rear axle high crop An unstyled 1935 Model B narrow wheel. Narrow wheel, wide wheel. All 1936 Model A. This is the Model A versus the Model B. Bigger flywheel. Model A serial number, serial plate. Model A decal on the seat. Unstyled Model A W. The Model A in general, larger frame than the B. You can see the steering mechanism is, is larger. 1940 A W. 1940 Model G. Decal on the flywheel. The Model G. Now on the air cleaner. Model G. Serial plate of a Model G. Model A engine. Model G engine. Model G. nineteen forty six our steering is now inside the cowl this is a model B and H high crop we've got a guard on the flywheel
And now we're starting to get safety conscious. We're putting guards over the power takeoff shaft. Thus we've got some hydraulics. We've moved the location of our gauges. 1941 model H. Says every 10 hours remove filter washing gasoline using up and down motion. Serial plate now on the right side of the tractor. Forty one HWH. Air cleaner. 1949 Model B. Starting to get some better seats. We'll have hydraulics. Enclosed flywheel. No hydraulics on the BN. Model B, Model B N, and a G. You can see the size differences there. 1952 Model G. Compared to a B. BN. Much larger engine on the G. More massive. Tow bar. Power takeoff. We have hydraulics. Very complete design. This is the tractor my father scared me to death with as a little kid. I was about six years old. He came around the corner on this thing. An A high crop, 1951. Looked like a big praying mantis was going to eat me. By 1958, this had become this 730D high crop. See from the bicycle how big these things are. 1958, we have uh, power steering. A much better seat configuration. Have a drawbar, and I don't see as of yet plug-in hydraulics, but uh, I got a feeling that's going to come pretty quick. 1959, 730 high crop, same tractor, basically, and we have uh, plug-in hydraulics. And we got your three-point hitch, hydraulic hitch. The uh, flywheel's fully enclosed by by now. Nineteen fifty 
8720. Awesome restorations. They're very, very complete. And this is a decal on top of the engine just before the cockpit here. This is the difference in the engines between a 720 and a 530. Quite a bit less. Difference in sizes. The front of the 530. We're going to a distributor type ignition. Have to be kind of careful with what I say because that might be an aftermarket thing. I don't know. But uh, it'll pop up and tell me. I'm quite sure. Decal on the back. Drawbar plug-in hydraulics. 1957 520 power steering of course. Enclosed plywood. There was, that was 530, 520. We have the three-point hitch drawbar. Here's your decal. 20 and a 1959 430. 30 high crop all fuel. smaller more practical tractor for most folks still on the 430 a lot of these have two tanks a little tank you start with gasoline and then uh, the regular tank you switch over once the engines hot and you run on whatever you got around and in 1959 we've got a Standard engine number patents. P nine four thirty five, but it's diesel thirty four thirty five fifty eight four twenty wide front. Model 320-5, 1957. I guess it's a 320-S. 430 high crop, all fuel, 1959. Compared to a 320 size difference. A high crop 1956. You can see we can vary the uh, width of the wheels. Same thing in 1954. We can also vary the wheels width. 53 vegetable. I knew some folks who spent long days on one of these a 620 orchard 1958 see the wheels are enclosed to protect them from the trees 
as is the engine, it's fully cowled and protected. Just an excellent example of a Grove tractor in the John Deere line. 50 AO Orchard tractor. We're going back in time here a little bit. And if you watch the Immigrant's Tale on YouTube, this is the tractor that my grandfather would have operated. 1937. up in years. This is the 1937 cockpit. And 50 cockpit, the orchard tractor. 58. Nineteen forty seven model B O Orchard. In other words, a model B crawler. Nineteen twelve John Deere Jumbo Grub. Plow. We would transport a harrow, disc as we commonly called them. John Deere LP gas liquid propane model. 1956 model 60. Saw a lot of these in the groves. Cane Crusher. Just feed it right through there. Crush your cane for syrup. 435 Diesel Low Pro 1959. Gives you an idea how these tractors were used. That's peppers underneath. And that's a John Deere Model 40. 720 compared to a 40 behind it. Nineteen fifty eight industrial four twenty. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, presentation and it's helpful to you. And someday maybe we'll see you down here at the Florida Flywheelers or one of the other tractor shows.